My name's Tim Pinson with New Streams Aquaponics, and I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to show you an aquaponics system. Aquaponics systems can vary in many ways, different shapes, sizes, number of grow beds, different grow media in the beds. There's a lot of aspects to it, and really it's, it's highly customizable. Many people, when they hear the word aquaponics, what they actually have in their mind is hydroponics. Hydroponics is where you have to add nutrients to a large amount of water and you add the nutrients that are necessary for plants to grow. And then they put the plants in a pipe and they just let the roots of those plants hang down and then they force the water to pass through the pipes so that the plant's roots can get plenty of oxygen but they can also pick up the nutrients out of that water and then grow. It's a very quick way of growing plants. Eventually your water needs to be flushed out. You have to start over again. You got you got to continually add nutrients. You actually have to buy the chemicals to make those nutrients for your plants. So there's a lot of process there. Aquaponics actually combines the ideas of hydroponics, but it combines it actually with fish farming. With the fish farming, even though you're filtering and you're trying to keep that water as clean as you can, ultimately the water has to be flushed out because the waste, the ammonia, and the different bacterial levels come to such a high point that the fish can't live in the water. It becomes toxic to them. Most folks that have an aquaponics system want to grow fish that they can eat. Uh, it's also possible to grow ornamental fish, koi, goldfish, whatever it may be. But most folks want to grow something that they can harvest later and have a source of protein along with the vegetables that they're growing as well. So naturally, fish when they eat, they produce waste. Most of the time that comes out in the form of ammonia, but also in their poo. And so that waste, of course, it dirties the water. That waste water, which ultimately we become very toxic for the fish, is pumped up into what is called a grow bed. And this grow bed doesn't have dirt in it. It has what we will call a grow media, which could be a certain kind of rock. I personally use what is called a, a clay substrate. It's called hydroclayton, but it's fire-hardened clay balls. And they keep some moisture, but they also retain a lot of those nutrients. In an aquaponics system, there's a little cycle that happens. In water, when the fish waste and the ammonia starts to be uh, let out after the fish are eating and doing their thing in there, the nitrites begin to feed on the ammonias as they break down the waste from the fish. And then there's another naturally producing bacteria that's called a nitrate. The nitrates come along in a cycle later on and they start to eat up the nitrites. Now if you've done any gardening or farming, you know that what the plants like the most are the nitrates. We've also heard it, you, uh, if you've done conventional gardening before, you want to have rich nitrogen content in your soil. Well, although we don't have soil, we have extremely nitrogen rich water coming into the grow bed, up into where the roots of those plants are growing, feeding them this very rich concoction of bacteria that they really want to eat, good nutrients for the plants, and then that water drains back down into the fish tank. Now, once it drains back into the fish tank, something magical has happened. All of the toxins that will ultimately kill the fish have been taken up by the roots of those plants, causing them to grow beautifully and even organically, and then bringing back clean water to the fish tank. So an aquaponics system is simply a cycle. The fish eat, they give out waste, the bacteria do this nice magical little process. The plants love it. They grow really big and produce wonderful vegetables. And the reason the plants can live in an environment like that is because they're not always submersed. The roots are not always submersed in water. So when the water drains back down into the grow bed, they're getting all of the oxygen that they need, which is another very important part of the process. You would know well that if you overwater a plant, you can drown it, it will die. So this, this system, aquaponics, actually creates, for most plants, almost any plant that I've tried so far, a perfect nutrient set to grow plants beautifully and even rapidly. And uh, we've got some really tasty vegetables and fruits even being grown here.